Welcome back to Educator.com. This is the Life Science course, and today's lesson is on mammals. Our objectives for this lesson will be, what are the common characteristics of uh, mammals? And that, what are the common characteristics that all mammals share? Describe the major groups that scientists use to classify mammals. And how do mammals adapt to their environment? Let's start with the common characteristics of all mammals. Mammals are animals that are named because they all share a common trait, which is the mammary gland. The mammary gland is a gland that produces milk for the young that are uh, formed after fertilization. And the mammary gland is only found in mammals. Uh, also, mammals have hair. Uh, they're also categorized as being endotherms, which means that they are able to regulate their own body temperature. And they have specialized teeth. They actually have uh, four different types of teeth. Uh, they have incisors which are the pointy teeth that we have here as humans on the side of our mouths. Um, we have canines, excuse me, those are the pointy teeth. <laughs> and then we have premolars and we have molars. Uh, here's a better picture of the different teeth. We have the incisors, which are in the front here and here. And then we have the canines, which are on the side of the incisors here and here. And then we have our premolars, and then finally we have our molars, which are all the way in the back. And all four of those different types of teeth uh, serve a different function. For example, the premolars and molars are good at uh, grinding and chewing, things like plants or plant products. Whereas the incisors and canines are usually uh, used for like um, tearing flesh or meat. Uh, all mammals also have a four chambered heart. Uh, for example, here we see the mammalian four chambered heart. The four chambers are the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. Some other animals may have a three chambered heart or a two chambered heart, like fish, uh, but all mammals have a four chambered heart. All mammals also have well developed lungs and a well developed brain. Um, they produce sexually, and there's four, excuse me, there's three types or three groups of mammals. Um, and their mam the groups are based upon how the young are developed. The three groups are monotremes, marsupials, and placentals, and we'll talk about each of those. Uh, let's first discuss the hair and skin of mammals. Hair and skin play a very important part uh, in the life of the mammal because it provides protection, warmth, and sensation for those animals. Uh, hair and skin cover the whole body of a mammal. Um, the skin also produces things like claws, nails, hooves, horn, and horns in some mammals. Um, the skin carries several different types of glands, which we'll discuss also in this lesson. The hair is made of a special protein called keratin. Keratin is a hard protein that is um, basically used to make your nails and the hair. This is actually a picture of the hair cuticle. It's just magnified uh, thousands of times, so you can actually see um, the different Parts of the hair, this is called a hair shaft. This would be like one hair, but you can see all the different kind of look like shingles. These would be considered uh, parts of the hair cuticle. And it's all made of this special protein, keratin. Now, many mammals have fur, which is a very thick coating of hair. And the fur is uh, used to trap air and to keep the animal very warm. Um, and lastly, we have a structure called whiskers, and whiskers are like kind of very strong, 
thread-like hairs. And those whiskers, such as the ones that you might see here on this cat, help the mammal to sense their environment, sense what's going on um, in several different ways. So uh, these are all of the different structures that we see in the mammal for as far as hair and skin go.